Hi, and welcome to Is It Worth a Sandwich? I'm Joe Kira. I'm Shanzi. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be going back to the uh, reviewing cookbooks uh, section of the videos and Sean, what, we, what, will we, what will we be reviewing today? Today we'll be reviewing the Twin Peaks cookbook, Damn Fine Cherry Pie. All right. And I'm pretty excited about it. Twin Peaks has started back up and who doesn't love Twin Peaks and just weird Lynchian things? I know, I'm, I'm really excited for the new show. All right, so uh, the recipes we're going to be preparing today are Gordon Cole's Small Mexican Breakfast Burritos. As well as the Horn Brothers Brie and Butter Baguettes. Uh, a drink, Laura Palmer Silk Stockings. Everyone's classical favorite human suffering, Garmambosia. It's also known as Creamed Corn. And Shelly Johnson's Cherry Pie. Shelly Johnson's Cherry Pie is actually where we're, where we're going to be starting off with. That one takes a little bit longer to cook, so we're, it's just kind of where we're starting off. Who doesn't love pie? Exactly. All right, so the first thing we're going to start off with is some cherry jam that we're going to add a little bit of sugar to. You're going to slowly bring that to a boil, whisking it occasionally. After this, you're going to add to the solution cornstarch and either water or what we chose, cherry bourbon. Then you're going to bring the solution back up to a boil. Next, we're going to move on to the crust. We didn't have time or patience to make a crust, so we bought one. Next, you're going to put one part of the crust in the pie pan and then cut the other part into pretty chevrons to put on top of the pie. All right, after that, you're going to be adding in the cherries to the pie and trying to decorate as best you can. Hopefully, your chevron cutting experience and placing experience is far better than this. Yeah. No time to dwell on our inadequacies, though, because we have to brush the top of the pie with an egg wash that will hopefully make it a golden brown color. After that, we're going to place the pie in the oven and move on to cocktail hour. All right, so while the pie's in the oven, we're going to go to our next recipe, which is Laura Palmer Silk Stockings. Uh, Sean, if you want to rim our uh, glasses. I would love to. Uh, he's rimming our glasses with uh, cocoa powder, or, well, just hot chocolate mix. Uh, Laura Palmer Silk Stockings are uh, creme de cocoa, tequila, grenadine, and um, it's supposed to be single cream. I'm, I have no idea what that is for, for British American equivalent. Uh, so we're just going to use half and half. I mean, that's probably fine. Yeah. It also uh, calls for using martini glasses, which I broke all of my martini glasses accidentally when we moved. So we're, we're not going to be doing that. I'm also not measuring grenadine, because why would you ever measure grenadine? It's also maraschino cherry syrup, not grenadine, but... I mean... I won't tell you, no. I mean, it might. It depends on how it turns out. It's a lot of single cream right there. <laughs> That definitely looks Laura Palmer. -y. I drink that at One Eye Jacks. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not sure what I think about this. It's odd, like the cream and the tequila isn't bad, but it's not great. I also think it might also just be, I'm, I'm not speaking ill of the tequila we used, but I don't buy terribly great tequila. I'm also terribly against tequila as a person, so ah. my judgment also is a bit biased. biased. So, so, so you might like this more if we did a... Uh... If we did with uh, vodka or... Oh, 100%. That would... 100%. Yeah, yeah, because then it's basically just like a little... A, a take on a... On a white Russian. We'll call it not Laura's silk stocking. There you go. <laughs> Next, we're going to be moving on to the Gumrambosia creamed corn. We're going to start by uh, melting some butter and then gently cooking some onions. Then we're going to cut the kernels off of a few ears of corn. You can use frozen corn if you'd like. We just kind of wanted to do it fresh because it's middle of summer and it was readily available to us. 
After about five minutes, you're going to add the corn into the onions and butter, adding in a little bit of water, cream, and then salt and pepper to taste. After all the ingredients are ready, you're going to let it simmer for about four minutes and then ready to serve. All right, so now we're going to do our next uh, bit of uh, food here, which is garmambosia. Uh, garmambosia. Thank you. It's human suffering in the form of creamed corn. Uh, I ended up having to add a little wonder to it because it was going a little runny, but hey, let's give it a try. All right. That's pretty good. Human suffering is so delicious. I Everyone, know. try it. Well, just the, the onions do add a lot to it, and just we you really slow cook the onions with the yeah. the butter, and that, that brings out a lot of the flavor. Yeah, I really like the garmambosia. Mm. Did I get it right there, Tom? You did. High five. All right. All right, our pie's ready to come out of the oven. We're going to let it cool for a little bit, and then we're going to dig in. All right, uh, so now we're going to be eating the uh, Shelly Johnson's cherry pie. I am so excited for this. I was not like, I don't like cherry pie and just like the smell on this one. It's like, yeah, no, this, this I, I can't wait for this. Because you guys didn't see it, the extra pie filling, we destroyed it. Yeah, we, we just, we just, it was it. so good. And like the, the egg wash did a great job on this. Like so far, I, I haven't been that impressed with Laura Palmer's silk stocking, but that uh, and the Garbozzi was pretty good. Yeah. But like, this might be the uh, the big one. I mean, it's where pie goes to die. Brought to you by Dale Cooper. Here, I'll give you a bit more of the, the bottom. Aw, thanks. <laughs> All right, so let's try some some of Shelly Johnson's cherry pie. Oh my god, it's really good. See, I love the flavor. It's just like I, it's nothing against this recipe. I'm just not a fan of the texture of cherries. Like, the flavor is outstanding. And the crust is just great. Just uh, I don't like the cherries, but like, I mean, you heard what Sean's response. It's true. So, so just describe the pie to, to our to our loyal viewing public. It's beautifully thick and sweet, and it's got a little bit of a extra smooth kick to it. Hmm. Brought to you by bourbon. Put it in everything. Yeah, um, one of the ingredients that we ended up using for this was uh, it called for bourbon. I decided to do uh, Jim Beam Red, Red Stag, which is a cherry bourbon, which, yeah, does very much improve the flavor. Like, the, the flavor in this is absolutely fantastic. I just wish I liked the texture of cherries. It's okay. I'll eat the rest of it for you. Don't worry. Thank you. That is, in fact, actually why I brought you here. <laughs> Nailed it. Next, we're moving on to Gordon Cole's breakfast burritos. You're going to start by cutting up the garlic, the onions, tomatoes, and peppers. The recipe called for a chili pepper, but I had a jalapeno on hand. You're going to cook the onions and garlic for about five minutes. After that, you're going to add in the peppers, cook that for another minute or two. Only then do you add in the tomatoes. Another very important step is to make sure you forget to record yourself cooking the eggs or the refried beans. Now we're going to have Gordon Cole's breakfast uh, burritos. I'm very excited about this as well. All right. Now normally you're supposed to put the uh, bacon in with the refried beans, but we used a can, so it's easier. Yeah. I'm gonna start with the refried beans. You're gonna, you're a bean man. Well, that way they can all just stick to the beans and stay in place. Oh, that and then it won't move because I'm neurotic. You can go ahead and start without me. Okay. That was really good. My only thing is, it took a while to prep. I wouldn't have that much time at breakfast. 
Well, I suppose if you pre-made the salsa and the refried free beans, that would probably work. And I, this is my first time making salsa, and just like the salsa was really good. Mmm. Mm. There is nothing about this I don't like. No, there is. I don't really see the Gordon Cole in this. I mean, I could see him being a breakfast man. Yeah. Really, so far, the only miss has been Laura Palmer six silk stockings. The silk stockings definitely were not on the top of my list either. They, uh... But again, I'm not partial to tequila, so might have been that. Who knows? Yeah. I am partial to breakfast, totally. Alright, now we're going to move on to the butter and brie baguettes. I pre-made the dough earlier in the day to give it plenty of time to rise. This was probably the most labor and time-intensive recipe of the day. We're going to bake the baguettes for about 20 minutes. Now, once they come out of the oven, you're not going to give them that much time to cool, just enough so that they're, you know, not hard to handle. Once they're uh, cool enough to handle, you're going to cut them open and add in the butter and the brie. And then they're ready to serve immediately. The book specifies that these are best if consumed within one day of preparation, but that shouldn't really be a problem. Oh. Grab plates. Yeah. All right, so uh, last thing of the evening that we're going to be doing, uh, butter and brie baguettes. I'm really looking forward to these. They smell amazing. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, that is amazing. I think we put a bit more brie than we're supposed to in there. I, I no, wasn't, no such thing. I wasn't looking at the recipe at the end there for just how much brie to put in. So, whatever the amount you put in, and you'll enjoy. So, Sean. Yes. Which of these so far is your favorite? Probably should have waited until before you were about to take a bite. I mean, probably should have paid attention and not done that. Yeah, it's fine. fine. Um, I won't lie, at this exact moment, probably going to say the Horn Brothers. Uh, yeah. What we're reading right now. But prior to that, it was the breakfast tacos. And prior to that was the cherry pie. And prior to that was the garbage. I mean, a lot of my stuff changes. I mean, the, yeah, like... Four of the five things that we made out of this cookbook were really good. Um, yeah, no, the, the just kind of end of sentence there. Four of the things were amazing and, like, really good. And, and this cookbook is really good. It's thick. It has a lot of recipes in it. Now, we didn't follow all of them exactly. No, but who does? Yeah. And, like, a good cookbook will, will allow for that. And, like, we didn't make the refried beans. We just used refried beans. Yeah. And they were still really good. Uh, we didn't make the, the dough for the <laughs> cherry pie. Because I'm not going to make dough for a cherry pie. But that did tell you how to do that if you wanted to know how to do that. And this book has a lot of really interesting things in it where, like, if you want to host, host a Twin Peaks party... Here are uh, games and things you can go through. They have the jukebox at the double R. <laughs> and there's just so many fun recipes in here that you can go through, and they're just it's really neat. There's even for the Twin Peaks party, just to help decorate yourself, you just get some nail polish and cut out some letters, and you just nail polish them on. Just like, you know, you could also be a corpse wrapped up. <laughs> exactly. Um... Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm going to recommend this cookbook. Uh, I think that it, it's really solid. It's got a lot of really good things in there. Some of the recipes, I would say, are a bit more advanced, but, like, come on, up your game if you can. If you can. I mean, they give you pretty clear instructions. They tell you everything that you need. It's listed out in order. As long as you follow that, you're basically good to go. Yeah. I would recommend Damn Fine Cherry Pie. If you're a Twin Peaks fan, this is just one of the best cookbooks you can get. Yes. Second, 100%. That's not even a question. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if there are any other cookbooks that you would like to see us review, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next time.
Have a great day.